These are Jameson JA Series tree pruners, model JA14, model JA34. The blade sharpening process is the same for both. I will demonstrate with the JA14. These are the tools required for sharpening. For disassembly, half inch wrench, 7 16 inch wrench, needle nose pliers and snap ring pliers. For cleaning, steel wool and spray lubricant. For sharpening, a variety of tools can be used, which I'll introduce later. A marking pen and a vise will hold the blade for sharpening. Always wear safety glasses and always wear protective gloves when handling the pruner. Remove the blade for sharpening. To do that, first remove the spring, then the upper spring pin and the blade bolt. Remove the spring, remove the snap ring, Remove the upper spring pin. Remove the blade bolt. It's recommended to clean the blade before sharpening. A spray lubricant and some steel wool does a great job at removing any sap or tar or corrosion from the blade. A variety of sharpening tools can be used. These are diamond hones, one with a flat profile, one with a round profile. And this is a carbide sharpening tool. Very hard carbide insert does a great job at removing large amounts of material if you've got severe damage, a dent, a nick, a ding, a rolled edge. But all of them are going to fundamentally do the same thing. We're trying to restore the original factory edge. So we want to match that factory angle draw the sharpening tool across the cutting edge around the full circumference of the cutting edge and restore that factory angle. There's no need to make a second bevel on the back side. We just want to restore that original factory bevel. Before sharpening, it can be helpful to mark the edge with a high visibility marker to be sure that you're sharpening along that factory bevel. Once the beveled edge is restored, we'll want to deburr the back side. To do that, we'll hold our sharpening tool completely flat against the blade and just make a few passes to remove any burr that may have been created while sharpening. The hook can be reconditioned in much the same way as the blade. Use your sharpening tool to remove any damage that may be present and deburr the back side by holding the tool completely flat. This ensures that the blade and the hook lay flat against one another to provide a clean, smooth cut. To reassemble, first install the blade. Install the upper spring pin. Install the spring and snap ring. With the pruner now assembled, adjust the tension of the blade bolt to be as tight as possible, but still allow a free return. And we are back in service.